How's that feel? I'm definitely capsizing this. That's Rod Real Line. All he needs is the lure. Yep. For $9? Oh, we're on. Oh my god, giant, giant, giant something. Giant something. Giant something. He's gonna break my rod. He's gonna break my rod. Holy oh, smokes. I, I'm gonna have to chase I'm gonna have to chase him down, boys. I gotta chase him down. Dude, I can't even move him. I can't move him. I can't move him. Dude, he's not in a tree or nothing. This is how big he is. Really? He's coming. It's gotta be a freaking giant cat or something. I would think it's a cat. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, look at this thing. This is a massive, massive fish. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Well, we got an exciting video planned. I want to let you know, though, we are launching Beefcake Jerky on June 1st, if you do not already know, and you can sign up for text message notifications right when it drops. You can text SHOO to this number on screen or click the link down in the description down below. You got to be notified to know exactly when we launch because it is probably going to sell out. I don't think we ordered enough, and it might be a while before we get a bunch more. The other thing we're going to do is we're also going to go to the factory, and we're going to show you the entire process, and we are going to get a production line version of the jerky for us to have that you guys are going to enjoy it at home and then we're going to get to dangling like i said link down in the description down below and enjoy today's video Shoo! what's going on folks welcome back well today's the day we are making our beef cake jerky this is the first actual production run that you guys at home are going to be able to buy and today is pork day so we actually went to the facility where it's manufactured we're going to get a full tour today and they're going to let banjo get on the line you want to show them do you want to show them the should real we, bag should we show we them haven't showed them the we, real bag dang oh. she show them the back show them the back yeah real jerky for real men that's what i'm saying no bullshit no bullshit this is, my favorite. This is the pork bag right here so uh we are going to be slicing and marinating pork today and then tomorrow it's all going to go in the smoker and then after that we'll come back and do beef it's all, an entire process we want to take you guys with us and show you everything that goes into making our beef cake jerky but they're gonna let us go on the line and help out well not help we're not helping oh, anything helping. but we'll be able to at least show you guys exactly how our product is made We'll see you guys inside. There it is. This, this is serious. I mean, this is like a legit. This, we told you we tried to make this in Banjo's garage, and USDA was not about it. So we oh. came to a real facility where they make products on an actual. I think you gotta scale. put a hair net on your beard. Yeah, yeah we it, do. One of you guys might get a hair if I don't. <laughs> Imagine in the mirror. It's like they just like pull out the bag and like, oh, what the what hell? One of the nine hundred Lucy hairs on your shoulders. You think Lucy? Yeah. Why did you roll around with Lucy this morning? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you what that is. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll be honest. This is why we couldn't make it in the garage. We get questionable substances. I should probably take the hat off. People are, my poor people are walking in. Ready for surgery? We like glove up. See, this is why we couldn't make it in the garage. This is all protocol. Fans better scrub under them grimy nails. Really? No, they're clean. Now we're gloving up.
officially getting marinated, folks. We're mixing it all up, all the seasonings, all the juices. It's getting into the meat. It's pressurized. It's gonna do this for about 30 minutes. We'll take it out, put it in some big barrels, let it marinate overnight so all the flavor soaks up into the meat, and then we're gonna cook it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back, folks. It's the next day. That is the very first. Oh, I'm sorry. See, I'm already in the way of everybody. That is the very first pork teriyaki batch going inside the oven. How long will that go in there? About three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. It's going to cook in that oven. So this morning, they laid everything out on racks, had a whole conveyor belt system, laid them all out, and now we're going to start loading up the oven, sit there for about three and a half hours, and take them out. And what I've heard is hot jerky is better than the store-bought jerky that you get in a bag. Like hot jerky just melts in your mouth. So I'm super excited. You excited? I'm ready. You guys stay tuned. Beefcake jerky is now in the official packaging, okay? We've got pork teriyaki, beef original, and I'm excited. This is the first time we've had the actual commercial run batch, and we're gonna open it up today. No bullshit. There's no bull on this, okay? In case you're curious, it is real jerky for real men. So, Banjo's got the teriyaki, I've got the pork, and we're about to stick Banjo's meat in our mouth. This is, this is exciting. This is the same meat you're gonna taste, same batch. So that what I'm about to taste, is what you guys are gonna taste at home. Oh my God. Buddy, buddy, there's no jerky on the market that tastes Unreal. like this. Unreal. That's straight out of Jerry's garage. Mm. There's no, there's no yeah. two ways about it. That, that original is out of Jerry's garage. I mean, holy smokes. Everyone's got that neighbor Jerry who gives you a warm Ziploc of beef jerky every holiday season. And although Jerry's a suspicious individual, his jerky's phenomenal. Slop. We made it taste like that. We got the pork right here. Mmm. Oh my. Buddy. Unreal. It, it's two polar different, like it's polar opposites, right? This is kind of a sweeter teriyaki and it's pork. It's extremely tender, extremely flavorful. This is just straight up smokehouse, okay? This is straight out of the smoker. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What do you think? She's the official yeah. taste test yeah, approval. Yeah, she's see if that tail wags or not here. Look at that tail. Oh, we got yeah. the official wag. What, what, Millie, come here, Millie. Come here, Millie. I heard Millie's big pork. Come here, Millie. You want some pork, Millie? Millie likes pork. Oh, yeah. Gone. I mean, it's that tender. No chewing needed for them. Don't do that. You might choke them. Don't, <laughs> don't sue me. But this is incredible. This is our official commercial batch that you guys at home are gonna be able to order on June 1st. And it, it, it came out better than I expected. It, honestly, I think this came out even better than the samples. Yeah. I mean, it is smokier than the samples. It's sweeter than the samples. It's, it's more savory. Mm. It's more tender. You can get a big old bag of it. We might come out with pocket pouches soon. But for now, we're gonna let, load you guys up with 10 grams of protein and 100 calories. Per serving size, there's 2.5 in each bag, in case you're curious. That's good stuff, Banjo. It was exciting to see the process. Hope you guys enjoyed the process. Two thumbs up from Banjo. Yo. Lots of head nods. You should get ready. BeefCakeJerry.com drops June 1st. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right. We are at the world's greatest place, Walmart, and we're going to do a challenge today where we have to buy rod, reel, line, lure, stuff to cook, and the place we're going is not bank accessible, which means we need a floating vessel of some sort, and we're going to do it on a budget. We're going to buy the cheapest kayak, we're going to buy the cheapest rod and reel, the cheapest lures we can find, and then find the cheapest way to actually prepare whatever we catch. What in the absolute Sam hell is going on here? Do you see that truck? <laughs> What the hell? I, 
I ain't never seen that one before. So we're gonna start off looking at some kayaks here. Looks like they got a couple small ones, and then we're going to uh, head out and try to catch some fish, whether it's largemouth, catfish, crappie, bluegill, walleye, sturgeon, I don't know. Either way, it's gonna hit the frying pan. You guys stay tuned. All right, look at these. Man, they got good selection here. These little suckers. It's more your speed, right? Where are you even gonna sit? Right here. Got a little for, indent for your ass. Just really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my bag will be blowing sit on that sucker. What, what, they got 100, $104, except the only problem is only 130 pounds. Uh -oh. And they, well, we'd be sinking that sucker. Yeah. What about this guy? Is this guy, like this, one. this guy's 190. What's, you're telling me there's a, almost a $90 difference? Oh, does it? What's, yep. That one holds 200? Yeah, we, I bet it'd be. That's usually a suggestion, all right? I mean, I feel like we'd probably be all right. Otherwise, you got one for 223. I mean, that looks fancy. I feel like that might be a little overkill. What's What's the old angler tent. What, what is this? What, yeah, what, is that what that is? Is there light in there? Is there one on the back too, or no? No, I don't think so. Oh, really? I don't know what that'd be for. Well, they have pretty good, pretty good selection. They got, and they got this orange one down here. It's pretty cool. That one's 245. So 245, 223, 223, and 190. That's the one, right? I, say, I feel like it's the old eight foot cis pacer. That's what they call that sucker. Oh, there's... How's that feel? I'm definitely capsizing this soccer. <laughs> that feel good or no? No. There's no room in your for your legs. You're already falling over. Yeah? I mean, there's a decent chance. That sinks. I mean, it's just, it's just not a whole lot going on with this thing. There's only one way to find out, I guess. So 100, 190, we gotta keep this thing under 250, I feel like. Yeah. 250, so that means we would have $60 to get a rod, reel, line, lures, a, a fillet knife, redding, and a way to cook the sucker. Full catch, clean cook, inside of a Walmart kayak. You guys stay tuned. All right, we got, what about that? 27 bucks, that ain't bad. What do I say, we have 60 bucks? Ooh, how much is that one? Oh, good lord, that comes with the grubs and all. That's what I'm saying. Really? You get your, uh, you get your jig heads, your grubs, your little slip bobber. Does this have, have a price in this thing or no? No idea, it's got your little push button. How well do you think that's gonna work? Not great. Probably not. No. You're not feeling it? I mean, it depends on the price. There's gotta be a price over there, right? No? I don't see it. Otherwise, 27 bucks, that ain't that bad. Oh, that's a big broomstick. We probably don't want that sucker. So, you need to see 40. Okay, here's 26. Oh, 22. See, we're getting warmer. 20, 20, 13. Hang on. 13. I didn't know this existed. It's the old worm gear pre spooled. $13. 13? We're crushing this budget. This budget ain't even gonna have. You got a $9 one down there. Nine? That's the old push button. Nine dollar push button. Holy smoke. I genuinely didn't know they were this cheap. This not is nine dollars right here. Oh, what? Okay, yeah, this budget's not even, this budget's no problem. That whole rig right there is only nine bucks. You tell me, why is that more, that, why is down. that cheaper than this? That's what I'm saying, pre-lined and everything. That's rod reel line. All he needs is the lure. Yep. For nine dollars. So now we're under 200. Just absolutely mind blowing to me. I don't need the worm, this is the worm. That's the 13 the worm gear. one, you don't need we him. We don't need him. So we're, as of right now, because what was kayak 190? Yeah. Under 200 for rod reel, line, lure, and vessel. That's impressive. All we gotta do is get like a lure of some sort and somehow to cook it. I think we might get this thing like sub 225. 250 would be, would be splurge. I think we can do it for less, almost 200 bucks. So I've actually bought one of these before. I've definitely used this. You caught a catfish on one in the I? old backyard pond. Banjo did. Oh yeah, Banjo's. You always do that, you always break them. <laughs> oh, that'll work. All right, let's go find some lures. All right, boys. Dollar sixty-eight. That gets you one rig, three grubs. Might need some more rigs. So I mean, that's still ten dollars uh -huh. ish. I mean, like eleven. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm confident in this sucker. I've caught a lot of fish on this thing. You catch your largemouth, your your catfish maybe, but your crappie, your bluegill can also eat it. I mean, this is a multi-species catching machine. And between these two combos, you're just a hair over ten dollars with the kayak, about two hundred. So now we got to figure out what's the cheapest way to cook this thing, meaning. You're gonna need a skillet, you're gonna need some oil, you're gonna need some batter, some breading, a fire source of some sort. So, let's go check out the cooking section. All right, so now, cooking. There's some different options. You got the $119. That's only 20 bucks. I've actually got like three of those. Yes, should've just, uh, yeah. See, you do all these challenge videos and then you realize you should probably just stop coming and doing these challenge videos. Uh, it, but they do have this. So this one's 22. This one, that one's only 12. So that is a four in one stove withstand. So you basically put it on a bottle. Do they sell single? So that would be 12 plus five, 17. So I can get this 
propane bottle. You can get this this propane bottle and this cooker. You can get these two. Should we fry in there? That's what I'm saying. Your little fry pot. I mean, how much is that thing? Can't be much, right? Twelve. So we're at seventeen. So we're at two twenty-seven. What's? It doesn't say the price of that. A dollar. A dollar. I bet we could fry some nugs in that sucker, right? Yeah. Or you could get this seven dollar set up right here. Really? Well, maybe it is five. Is bucks. it five bucks for this thing? Five dollars for this? What the same hell? That doesn't even make sense. Why don't we go to the actual cooking section? Yeah. Just buy a normal pan. I say you a get dollar. a frying pan. Yeah, you yeah, get a yeah. frying pan for less. I bet. I bet we can. I bet you can get a frying pan for less. I mean, the, that freaking cast iron's nine dollars, and that's cast True. iron. Okay, this so that thing was twelve, so seventeen plus a knife. I know they got some cheap knives. Where are the cheap fillet knives? They're right. Where's? I feel like they have cheaper ones. I'll be honest. Really? I think they. they I, 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 in my in my head, it's the one with the little black sheath. I I've got it like seven oh, of them. Where is this? I say okay. So two. So three bucks. We gotta beat three bucks. I bet we can. I bet we can beat three bucks. I know they got some cheap knives around here somewhere. Let's see. Oh yeah. Here's your fillets. Okay. Oh, it's the same price. Two ninety seven. But this is what I was thinking of. I knew. I've got a bunch of these. There you go. So that'll work. So two. So that's eighteen nineteen. Nineteen. So almost. Twenty dollars for just a cooking setup, which would put us at two twenty. Mm -hmm. And so, if we can get a frying pan, oil, breading, for under five, for under five I don't know if we're gonna get under five bucks. Five bucks might be pushing it. The two. Who are we radioing? Sounds like a freaking police dispatch. Well, let's go. It's Walmart. Just relax. All right, boys. We are at two twenty right now, combined total. But we still need something to cook on pans. Really, these are more expensive than I thought they'd be. <laughs> we might go back to our little. Coffee, $22. coffee cup. You're telling me that where's the tea falls? Those are always cheaper now. The tea, tea falls? falls? Twenty nine. COVID, son of a gun. Let's get a walk. Should we just get the jumbo walk no, and see what this happens? This little guy's twenty bucks. Okay, we might be screwed. We might be back to the coffee cup. I really thought they had cheaper. Co what is this? There's no. This is this is a cheap little tea fall. There's no. How much, there's no way this is expensive. What in the hell? I dude, I could have swore. Yeah, we might be back to the $5 coffee cup. Hey, what in the freaking inflation? This is just getting out of hand. Okay, all right, we're getting somewhere. I mean, that's cheaper than the coffee, the coffee cup, and I won't burn myself, which is a, a, obviously a bonus there. So I'm guessing that's going to be the cheapest. Four seventy-eight. So now we are at officially two twenty-five, and all we need is oil and breading. I feel like it's pretty dang good. All right, so now we need some oil. We need like the small, $3. I mean, three bucks ain't terrible. This is probably the smallest they, amount they have, I would assume, right? They probably don't have any smaller than this. Smaller ones of these, don't they? That's little guys? Thinking, yeah. these. Like, like, you know, like, a, like a shooter, mm -hmm. like a little shot. But that'll work. I mean, more than enough. So $3, and now we gotta go find some some batter and breading. So here's your flour. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Can we do it for five dollars? Can we do it for two thirty? What were we at? Two twenty. Two no. twenty. You're at two twenty three. What right with now. that? Or was I? No. Plus that. What was this that? Two twenty. All of this together is two twenty. I think I was two twenty before I walked in the skillet aisle. Oh. No. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure. Oh, dude, the batter's only a dollar. Oh, perfect. Dude, we okay. We got freaking. Give us right some here, credit. We got real close to two twenty five. Fish breading. Dollar seventy seven. All right. Well, I think we got everything we need, boys. See you guys at the lake. Hey, how's it going? How's that going? You know, you're about to crush your fishing pole. Hey, what? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out who actually fits in here. No, like my no. legs are not that long. The girl you that know. was trying to pick it up. Really? Yeah. Is she a little thing or what? A little tiny thing. Boys, we made it out to the lake. Cotton's up, up, getting after it. But we're gonna attempt to find us some fish. This place has got a multitude of species: bass, bluegill, crappie, catfish. So anything's on the the menu. Oh, by the way, you, you see I got the old spinner. You got the spinner hanging out. I don't know where I got it. Yeah, how's this going? Oh. Take off. Is there a plug in this thing or no? Hopefully not. I hope so. Oh god yeah. You give it a little scoot. Careful oh. man. Oh you're taking on water. You're taking on you're water taking on the, the other back? side. You're taking water. Wait, where? It went over right by your ass. When I was when I was doing that. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. But I'm good right now? Yeah. No, you're, you're, so just yeah. don't move. I wouldn't do that again, no. And my ass is wet. There ain't no way I'm making this out alive. All right, boys. Let's see if we can find ourselves some fish. All right, fellas. Well, you can see we got low ride. I mean, we are giving her the old wheelie dance. Exceeding the weight limit just a touch, but nothing the old beetle spin can't get figured out. So we're just gonna start here. We got the wind blowing out our back. I'm not a kayak guy to be honest with you, but if you are gonna be kayak fishing, just let the wind do the work. You don't even have to paddle. I got jerky with us. In case the fish don't bite right away, we already know the deal. You guys saw the uh, bow fishing video. Take a few nibbles of that. It's guaranteed. It's like cooking bacon for ducks. They start smelling that. They smell that jerky and they will get horny. We are now on the uh, mission of finding some food. We got the allure that should kind of catch everything. So we're going to the wind take us. And we'll see what we're eating for lunch. You guys stay tuned. 
Oh god, yeah. I'll be honest, nine bucks? This rig ain't bad. No. No. Look out, look out. Oh, really? Really? But he just gave her the quick sniff. All right, boys, we on the move. I'm gonna try getting a little closer to some of this. Some of these laydowns might hold some largies. I mean, I don't typically plan on eating a largie. I mean, if that's all we can get after today, that's fine. But I'd like to find, oh, good night. I'd like to find something more like a bluegill or a crappie or even a catfish. I mean, bass are all right. Overall, I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish. I bet there's gotta be something up against one of these logs right over here. Let's see here. All right, now that went scooting. She's a scooting. Oh, that's a big lay down. I didn't realize it was that big. Oh, look out, look out. The old dead stick, the old dead stick. The old, we're hooked up, boys. Oh, shoot, hang on. Hang on now. We. Oh, crap, oh, it's an eater crappie. Boys, no, look out, look out. Hang on now. That was the old dead stick. That was the old dead stick. You're kidding me right now. I said I was gonna go for a large mouth. This is exactly what I was after. Look at this suck. Hey, hey, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm soaked, that was wet. Okay, all right, hang on, hang on now. There it is. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Look at that. Holy smokes. Big I mean, that sucker will eat. Good. Nah, I did not expect to catch him so quick. I came over here to get a nice largey going. I mean, that's an eater. Holy oh smokes. Look at that guy. Sheesh. Well, the first fish is what we need for lunch. One of these big dogs. We just, we just went through all that work. I feel like I need to keep fishing. I can't end it yet. We got to catch a couple more. Gonna be a nice lunch. Dude, look at that sucker. Isn't he a big old crappie Sheet like that? Doggy. That's a good one. Should I, should I put him in here just for now? Yeah, just throw him by your feet. All right, buddy. You just do it. That's a freaking hoss. It is. Yeah, that's a hoss. It's All a right, well, we got one down. That didn't take long. No. This place is freaking dialed. I literally was like, oh, I'm gonna go buy these stumps. But it was it was the pause. That was the thing. I started oh, paddling really? the dead stick. Yeah, I think I was mo maybe moving it too quick before. Oh. Let's see if there's a couple more. Maybe off. you just troll it. You think I should just give her the drift? I'd dead stick it and troll. That might be the deal. Oh, look oh yeah. out. That might be the deal. All right. Well, boys, we got one. Yeah, I might go out there and just give her the drift. All right, boys. Well, here, actually, here's what I'm going to do. You ready for this tactic? Get your lure wet. Let the wind take you. And rip open a pack of freaking pork jerky. Some float. Just watch what I guarantee it. It's gonna work. That's the greatest boat snack. Oh, come on here. You get one? Might be in the weeds. We on the move, boys. Find ourselves another brush pile. All right, boys. <clears throat> Got a little lay down right over here. Let's see if we can get ourselves another crappie. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Walmart. This kayak ain't half bad. My ass is a little wet, but this thing freaking scoots. All right, look at this nice. Look at this tree falling down right here. We got some shade coverage. I might get a little largey interested here. Got some sauce dangling on this sucker. All right. Oh yeah, that, that's a largey spot. Could be a crappie spot too. Let's see if we can whip her in there. Look out. Oh god, yeah. He's it. Oh, got a bite. And he came off. Probably a little bluegill. Another bite. And it's a little bluegill. He is assaulting this grub right now. <laughs> a little machine gun action. A little oozy action here. Yep, that was a little bigger thump. Come on. I'm going to let it fall. See if we can get one of the big dogs that are down below those little guys. Oh, yeah. Them bluegills were horned up right there. Yeah. A little too small. Some little guys. Them big dogs got to be somewhere out here, huh? Oh, we're on, oh my God, giant, giant, giant something, giant something, giant something. He's gonna break my rod. He's gonna break my rod, holy oh, smokes. Oh yeah, no, he, dude, he's running. Hang on, look out. Dude, he, no, dude, giant. Really? Dude, look, he's going. He almost broke my rod. He almost really? broke my rod. Really? I gotta tighten it up just a little bit. Dude, this is a, oh, dude, dude, he's taking me. Right, I'm, I, I'm, gonna chase, I'm gonna have to chase, I'm gonna have to chase him down, boys. I gotta chase him down. I gotta chase him down, he's giant. He's giant, I gotta chase him down. Oh, uh, dude, he's still going. I'm chasing a freaking shark right now. He's still going, he's faster than my kayak. All right, don't let off, don't let off, don't let off. We're getting ground on him now, we're gaining, gaining. Oh my dude, this thing's giant. This thing's freaking giant. What is this? What is this? 
Dude, I can't even move him. I can't move him. I can't move him. Dude, I can't move him. What do you got? I don't, dude, he's a tank. Dude, he's not in a tree or nothing. This is how big he is. Really? He's coming. It's gotta be a freaking giant cat or something. I would think it's a cat. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God. Dude, look at this thing. He's just staying down? Dude, he, dude, he's not on a tree or nothing. That's him. That's, That's just nice. straight up him. Cat, dude, it, sure. look at this. How am I supposed to land him? This, this rod was $9. How am I supposed to, dude, this rod's bent in half. Dude, this is a tank. This is a massive, massive fish. I mean, a massive. Look at this. Look at this rod, bro. No dude, he, that's him. I'm not in a tree. This is him. Oh, I mean, it's just straight up. I don't know how I'm gonna land him. I don't know how I'm gonna land him. I, dude, I can't gain anything on him. Dude, that is the fish. Really? Yes, he's not stuck. That's, that's a fish. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Look at him. <laughs> this is an absolute monster. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to get him up. Oh, it's got to be, dude. This has got to be a massive catfish. I mean, what else would this be? What else would this be? Look at this. Look at this. I'm, w I'm winching him up. I'm getting him up. I'm getting him up. I'm telling you, he's not stuck. It looks like I'm snagged. I'm not. That's just the fish. I don't know how I'm going to land him. I'm going to fall in the freaking water. Dude, this thing's going to be giant. This, this might get western, boys. Look at this. No Look at dude. <laughs> Dude, it's giant. It's giant. Like, my drag is not that loose, dude. Like, I am pulling him up right now. Look at this rod, dude. This is cr I've never had a fish fight like this ever. He's coming. I mean, I'm gaining on him. Yeah, you're winning. Look at this. He's, He's coming. coming. He is so big. Oh my gosh. He's not moving him. He's not moving an inch. This is freaking nuts. It's gonna be the biggest cat you've ever had on the, a rod. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, don't be snagged. I can't tell if he's in the brush now. He's in some brush now. He, he might be. Yeah, there's a tree right behind me. He's still on, there he comes, there he comes. He's up, he's up. Oh, I think he's in some brush now. He's in some brush now. Dude, I'm about to freaking swim down there. I mean, I'm still gaining on him. He, he's definitely in some brush. There, he, oh, couple big, oh, right there. He's right here. He's not in the brush. He's right here. He's right here. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a, cat. Yeah, it's a big fish. Big fish. He's right here, dude. He's not, I got him out of the brush. I got him out. All right. Come on. Look at this, dude. He won't give up. Come on. He's coming. He's, he's really close. Yep. Oh my God, it's huge. Holy He's huge. He's freaking giant, dude. Oh my god. He's freaking giant. Dude, it's like a 20, 30 pounder. No. Dude, he's no, he's freaking big. This thing's freaking huge. No, it's a giant freaking blue, is what it is. Really? Yeah, he's big. No, this thing's giant. He's right here, though. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna land the sucker. This thing is massive. This is by far the biggest catfish I've caught in a rod and reel. No, he's giant. He's a giant blue, is what he is. Oh my god, he's right here. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. I don't know how I'm gonna freaking win this battle, boys. You see him? You see him? Look at this thing. Look at him. Oh my God. You see him? He's huge. No, he's huge. This thing's giant. You want me to get you to the bank? Probably. I'll just jump in and grab him. Don't, don't come on now. Here he comes. Oh. Here he is. Oh my God. Dude, he's huge, bro. Oh my God. He is a tank, bro. Oh my God, he's so big. Yeah, dude, he's just pulling me around. He's right here. I touched his tail. I touched his tail, it didn't go great, no. <laughs> this is nuts, bro. He's so freaking big. Here he comes. Look at that big dog. There he is. Oh my Lord. I got him. Oh, look at this fish! Look at that! No, oh my no. god! Oh my god! Dude! That's a channel. Is it really? That's a channel cat. Dude, that's a giant! That's the biggest channel cat I think I've ever seen in person. Oh my god! He's huge. Okay, you can lay him in here if you need space. I got space in life. Oh my god. I can't believe we landed him. We gotta go show Devin. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, you have him hooked just in the chin. Oh Look out. Look out. He's gonna bite my tip here in a second. Really? Yeah, he's nibbling. <laughs> hey. Holy smokes. 
<laughs> that's a tank, dude. Ever on a ride That's a reel? dude. Besides like a flatty, yeah. That's insane. All right, you gotta roll up and hide it from Devin. We All right, I'll spec out. We didn't see. I'll, I'll hold up. What do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this big boy? Well, I told, I told you they were in here, that but took I... about 10, 15 minutes <laughs> to bring them in. That's what we were doing the whole time we were over there. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I was fighting this sucker the whole time. I didn't know that was on uh, the on the menu today. No, he's not. We'll put him back. I ain't gonna keep him. But Good. look at that sucker <laughs> on the old spin. Oh, Four pound on test. that hole? Oh, dude, he. I. Cha I had to follow him around. He, he was dragging around me. The whole leg. He drug me around the whole freaking leg, dude. She. That's a big dog. Oh, look out. Get you some water, buddy. Well, the good other good news. We did get lunch, so the all two in one. We got lunch, and we got a freaking hell of a lookout. I hate. I tell you, I hate kayak fishing. Yeah, I hate. I will it say too. this makes it fun though. You get one of these suckers. Yeah. I mean, dude, just a mega. Oh yeah. yeah I bet that was She's getting hell pissed. Hell. All right, big Sheila. Look <laughs> at that sucker, dude. It's your lucky day. Your lucky banjo in here, otherwise he'd be wanting us to feast. Head on out. Go make some babies. Golly, son. Jam move. <laughs> it's got my ass kicked. That was like, the only time I've had it like that is I caught a freaking like 50, 50 inch musky on a kayak once. Mm -hmm. I'd go chase it like that. Holy smokes. What well, happened? We caught that crappie, ate that jerky, out. caught that big True. old dog. I stuck some meat in my mouth and I'm catching that big hoss. Now it's time to fillet. Well, there you have it, folks. It is time to clean this sucker and get some fillets off him. So here's our cooker. That's how we're gonna be cooking them. All right, don't don't criticize me, all right? Because you know, I'm not a flaying expert by any means. But just cut around here. Like that. There it is. And I just use my thumb and hold it up. Get around these bones. Oh God, yeah! Look at that white meat. She. The ribs go around them. We're nice ribs. Well, that's how you get one fillet off. You take your knife, stick them little nails. Your ban if you're banjo, you got pretty good at this. You got them talons, so just dig your nails in there and just run your knife. And you really just want to—you don't want to cut the skin. You got to get that meat off the skin. You don't like that. Just kind of flex your knife like that. And just saw it back and forth. See, we're not getting the skin, getting all that nice meat. I feel like I did decent at that. Yeah, that's, that's usually where I up, I'll be honest. Really? Yeah. Doing that deal. There's that's few, a nice few, few different ways to skin the cat, you know? All I know is I got meat in my yeah, hands. That's nice So, ways. we're full of the other side and get this meat in the frying pan. Stay tuned. Shoo! Look at them fillets. Well, we realized we didn't bring a batter bag that Jake brought to my attention. We do have some jerky bags, which have a little hint of teriyaki, which doesn't offend me any. No. Go ahead and multi-purpose these bad boys. Throw your meat in there. Take your fish seasoning. By the way, this thing, way too hot. We can't figure out how to get it on low mode. It's just always on go. Go ahead and throw some breading in there. Seal it up. Look at that. Oh god, yeah, that's working out pretty good. Yeah. Just little Cajuns just getting in, a <laughs> in the bit. nostrils, yeah. I mean, yeah. come on now! Save your bags, Sheesh, folks. Sheesh, save the bags. All right, boys, here we go. Oil's hot. Might be wondering how we're frying without heat. <laughs> yeah, well, the oil got real hot real fast. All right, boys, batter it up. Throw it on there. And then put it back on the heat. Now that's cooled off a little bit. And that right there is the freshest crappie you ever darned it had. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. A little teriyaki. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt. You gotta stay tuned. Shoo! Look at them bad boys. Golden and crispy. Well, we didn't put plates in the budget. So what we're gonna do here is take our bucks knife and our filet knife and give us a little transport onto the cardboard packaging. Looky there, buddy. You got a little nuggy. Sheesh. I mean, come on now. That's the deal right there. As much as I would have liked to eat the catfish, because I love catfish. He's gotta swim on and go breed. She looked like she was ready to do something. We'll let this cool off and see how it tastes. Stay tuned. Oh, dear Lord. It just doesn't get old. It doesn't you know? get fresher than that. Whew. Straight out the jerky bag.
Mm. You get a hint of teriyaki or no? Just a little bit. Yeah. A little hint. Mmm. Mmm. Golden crispy, white and flaky. Get yourself some of that. Put us on the fish. All right, let's tear it up. Huh? It's hell hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't kidding, it's hot. I should have told you like a half a second sooner. You, you went deep, too. No, that's good. Cajun was definitely in the movie. Cajun was good, man. That's crunchy. Cajun teriyaki now. Mmm, that crunch. Yeah. That little burner, not for indoor use at all, you can tell. But it gets your stuff crispy. Like that is. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. Oh, God, it's hotter than heck. She's still nice and warm. I do get a hint of teriyaki. A little bit. Ain't bad. Okay, Cajun's got something going on. Yeah, I said that cage is really good. I'll give him that. That cage, I mean, it's nose is already running. I'm glad we don't have to ride back home with Banjo. No, your Banjo would be blowing out. He'd be windows down. Yeah, after that Cajun carp, it was, it was rough. Yeah, Banjo and Cajun just, don't, he starts hiccup hiccuping and stuff starts coming out, and it's just not a good deal for anybody. But well, windows. I mean, I would say that's. That's the deal. That's some of the best crappie I've had. They don't get pressure. Now. Extremely fresh. I mean, we got him freaking like third cast right there. Had the old catfish. We made it happen. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, June 1st, okay, that is Thursday. June 1st is when Beefcake Jerky will be live. It's gonna be at 5 p.m. Like I said, you can sign up for SMS text to get notified right away. I can almost guarantee you it's gonna sell out. Based on the feedback I've gotten from you guys, uh, we did not order enough. We ordered as much as we possibly could, fit in my house and fit in my garage. Uh, I'm just gonna take a guess and it's gonna probably sell pretty quick. So if you guys do wanna try it, uh, I don't know how long it'll be till we restock. I mean, it takes a kind of a long time uh, to get all the products in and stuff like that, get restocked and reset everything up. So I can't promise when the next order will come in. So if you wanna try it, I suggest you get it on opening night, which is June 1st, 5 p.m., beefcakejury.com. Link will be in the description. Like I said, sign up for SMS text to get notified right when it launches. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you later and peace.